So you're either wondering what oh dear is about, or whether you should buy it. Well coming at a price range where your wallet is saying oh yeah, this might be one of the best games to buy right now, and I'll explain why. The game has a simple objective, hunter needs to kill all the deer, and the deer need to survive until they get the opportunity to slay the hunter. The way this works is if you are the hunter, you are given a bow and arrow. You must identify and kill the deer that are players. If you kill a non-player deer, your sanity will decrease. Also, as time takes by, your sanity is decreasing, so you need to be quick. Alternatively, if you kill a player deer, then your sanity will increase, giving you more time. But if your sanity runs out, you'll become insane. This then gives the deer the opportunity to kill you as you flee to your cabin. If you make it back to your cabin, you still win, but alternatively, if you get pummeled by a demon deer, which I believe are called Wendigos, you lose. Now to assist hunters, you do have cameras. This will help you detect strange behavior caused by player deers giving their locations away. Moving on to playing as a deer. As a deer, you must hide. Now I put that in air quotes because it's way more fun to mess around with the hunter as seen here. I believe in you. Who said that? You were right here. Was it one of you two? Maybe. Hold on, I'll be back to that. Hold on. Alright, my bad. I was trying to kill this other dude. But let's see, let's see what's up, man. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! The jump, I didn't calculate the jump. Shit! <laughs> I'm about to get hungry. Oh man, how many arrows are you carrying? <laughs> As a deer, you must avoid getting hungry. If your hunger bar runs out, you instantly stand on your hind legs and start making a tummy rumbling sound. This will instantly give you a way to the hunter. So, to avoid this, eat the sweet sweet mushrooms. To help the deer, you can either run on your hind legs, making you faster, but revealing you. You can pretend to eat grass, blending you in. Or my favorite, you can flatulate yourself to make an explosive escape. As mentioned earlier, if the hunter goes insane, you become a wendigo, giving you the opportunity to either scream at or slay the hunter as he searches for his cabin. Now that's not all. The game also has proximity chat, which as we know from games like Lethal Company and Among Us, just makes the game so much more fun. We're gonna get your ass! We gonna get your ass now, bitch! You my bitch! I'm gonna give you give it, give it a butt <laughs> So there's the game. We played on version 1.0.0, so there are bugs as the developer so kindly let us know. I imagine the developer will be active as this game becomes more popular, and as mentioned earlier at the price point that it is at, I could imagine this becoming one of the best indie games in 2024. You may be wondering, what is in store for the future? Well here are my thoughts. I could see the developer giving more perks to the hunter, whether that's detection devices or weapons. I could see the developer introducing more animals in future. I could see new maps and scenery. I also think it would be fun to have more side quests that the deer players have to achieve. Altogether, is this game worth buying? 100% yes. It's a great game for a group of friends, or even if you like open lobbies. My friend and I had a blast. So what are you waiting on? Go play Oh Deer.